up, gamers? Howdy, what's going on, YouTubers? Welcome, welcome to another Fighter Academy extraordinaire. It is I, Zach Blanagan, here to elevate you mother****s' consciousness in and outside of the game. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment some sort of heartfelt comment, something about your favorite color, what anime you're looking forward to in the fall, what character you're looking forward to in season three. I don't know, anything. Let me know how your, how your, uh, your day's going. I'm here. I'm here. Eyes open, ears open, heart open. So today we got a sparring session. Yeah, sparring session with Chef's Kiss. All right, so we got uh, session number three with him. All right, he made a made a little request to help him with some uh, shadow training aspects of it. So we're gonna do a, a set feedback, and then we're gonna do a little uh, shadow training mixture. All right, seems to be a little popular with the uh, with the students lately. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's... All right, Mr. Chef's Kiss. What up, bro? What up? What What's up, bro? What's popping? What's popping? So, catch us up to speed. Let us know about your feedback from the second session to now. How you feeling? Um, so we are in kind of like a low mid mid uh, spirits compared to the last one. Like we had so much traction the first, the second set. Okay. And this one with like the added mixture of, because you told me to pretty much keep going with like the staying stay. stay Damn, we didn't kick range with the aspect of also with the aspect of also like trying to like see what they do in another block chains or whatever and mm. um like i was saying earlier like this is like kind of like a wall for me mm. where i have because i guess because i between like the explosiveness of the game and then it's me trying to like differentiate like when my opponent is like ending something or like doing something where it for me to take notice so therefore it's just like you know it, it, it it's like information it, it becomes information overload once again you know something that it was a task that was told for me to do it like months e eons ago and i've never done it and mm. because again i felt because of the complexity i just like always pushed it to the side right and so here we are trying to like finally overcome that which i struggle with well you ain't really struggling right you're just in the process of learning okay fair enough all right that's just your expectations which is that's a natural thing right we already talked about this did you get a little bit of success and then it starts to transmute into uh so to be fair right i entered to, to get, so my, my my achievement was the fact that i tried just to do what i did right and so i entered tns last week and i entered um dual academy yesterday um pretty much like since street fighter 6 started this probably one of my worst showings like um tns one and two and yesterday was like oh and two okay so which i'm like okay fine whatever um not not salty about it it's to the point where like you know there are moments where like i can do it like i see it i can do it and then like as i go through the day my brain shuts off like okay cool so it's like a muscle trying to be strengthened i guess mm. Mm. okay so let me ask you a question how are you feeling about bison because i know you were coming from ed right mm. and uh we talked about how important it was to be mindful of like anti you know scissor kick shit, right yes so how has that been going for you in terms of like your awareness of those situations um better um if i do notice that if i whiff a scissor kick or somebody neutral jumps i'm quick to make an adjustment because i'm like okay cool i'm out of range or i'm not thinking i'm just like you know being um low chart on my scissor kick pressure mm -hmm. which forces me just to go back and and get closer so i can just like instill the other tools okay so to the point where now i feel like my play style is more button heavy and less scissor kick nice yeah okay. especially especially since watching strider and and trying to make sense where like you know because i went from cami i went from cami to ed or whatever like yes they have like abusable things but like i feel like yes bison has scissor kick but it's not abusable yeah it, it depends on the situation right like burnout mm -hmm. is then it's for sure right yes um, that, that yes and then um when somebody's really low on drive gauge that's a really good spot to do it too sure. right because now when you've demonstrated it now it's something that's like on the front of their mind and now it, it commands their attention right so then you have yeah. that as like a form of leverage so True. you can uh, you can manipulate people like that because now there's okay. the threat of it is established and then they're like well i can't really take this again because then i'm gonna get fucked, right because you know what it is it's not like cami where it's just like i'll be honest i'm, I'm cami lover but it's just like you know i play next thing you know i'm like ah screw it i'm gonna just dive kick and then like like momentum just totally shifts in my favor mm. just off of all just off of a random dive kick i can't do a random scissor kick and say okay cool because i still gotta like I, li I like it i like the aspect about bison because again like i still gotta outplay you at the end of the day because even bomb like yes 
and I feel like I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm just like, bro, if you die in two seconds because of Bison, because you tried to contest when you shouldn't have. Mm. But if you just sit there, like, there's no reason. Like, outside of bomb, that Bison doesn't really do that much of a damage. I don't care what nobody says. Right. It's their fault. Okay. I remember, what was it? Well, like, prime example, I remember I played this one person. Um, I was down 30%. I was in yellow, and they had 70%. I got a bomb, and then I went for, like, a drive rush. And then I got a caught counter hit, which into, like, um, OD Psycho Crusher. Mm into heavy psycho crusher and my man died <laughs> because of a kind of hit i was i was laughing i got the clip but <laughs> <laughs> I, I was rolling like you know i'm just like yo this is fair this is fair because again i'm like if you just block you wouldn't have died that's, true that's just my take on it hey man i ain't, i ain't mad at that <laughs> all right so let's get into it uh i'm gonna right. deafen and then we can play and i'll get back all right Okay, he got those now. Haha. <laughs> Man, didn't he just say he should have blocked? Oh, he tried to do it to me. I don't know why I didn't get crushed there. That was kind of whack. Oh, damn. I had so much advantage. You know, TI? Damn, I missed it. Yeah, it's minus six. He keeps getting hit by that. What? Oh, shit. That's not good. Getting that solid throw range. <laughs> ah, bruh. <laughs> the game of chicken. Nice check.
Oh shit. No, I didn't mean to do that. Bro, that shit does so much damage. All right, GGs, 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 GGs. <laughs> uh, that was that was good. Yo, let's come back, sir. We're really good. Your your like strength is definitely in your momentum. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're, when, I don't like the momentum though. Like, I don't know how to run it. Yeah, when you have momentum, it's like when you feel pressure, you start to play better. I think it's because you don't you you have no choice but to not think. You know what I'm saying? So that you just you play off your instincts. Uh, I want to use my brain. Yeah, but you use your brain like away from the match. You don't use your brain in the match. The game's too fast paced. So you pretty much just run the, run the offense. Yeah, you just run your shit. Like you've already, like you have to practice whatever it is that you you know you, you're trying to do so much so that it becomes subconscious. Because mm. you don't want to waste mental resources. On things that could have already uh settled mentally away from the game through analysis note taking structuring shit like that and then um and then you think between the matches right or if okay. like you know like if uh there's something that you want to adjust to or you want to really take advantage of or you want to solve or you maybe you feel like you got to be a little bit more forceful in certain aspects of the game that's where you think but thinking in the game there's no point there's no point of doing it the game is too fast-paced you're always going to uh, be behind so my question would be where would the adaptation because i feel like when i play like that i get tunnel vision and i'm like i'm not paying attention like but, that's the fear yeah so okay so that's a very healthy fear that makes sense so what you do is right <clears throat> you should already know what the counters are through your own exploration you know what i'm saying so like if i go and learn a character when i come up with something i'm like all right but what beats this if you don't do that that's probably why you don't have that muscle okay you know what i'm saying so like anytime you anytime you have a, an action you should have a, an accompanying weakness like a plan b you know like what i'm saying that, that that nah, like you should just be aware of what it loses to so that when you see it it's not like mm -hmm. foreign you know what i'm saying because that mm -hmm. that unfamiliarity is a waste of mental resources too because now you're like uh what am i losing to no you should already know as soon mm -hmm. as you see it you're like oh i already know what this is i already know what the counter is you know what i'm saying and this is how you can conserve a lot of mental energy too for like brackets you're breaking down like my whole walls right now my brain so pretty much strategize a flow chart and just know the counter to the flow chart Mm. And this is where the latest comes in at. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. Right? Like, you don't want to use the game, the match for experimentation like you could in previous games because in previous games, you didn't start off with full meter and the mm. damage wasn't fucking ridiculous and execution wasn't easy, right? So it wasn't guaranteed that 100% of the time the person would get the save jump. 100% of the time the person would optimize accordingly. You know what I'm saying? So, like, okay. th this these generations of like fighting games you have to approach them differently because of that you know which is probably why i did do we came again i just said play the whole one okay all right i feel like but i just feel like bison it's not he's more complex than cammy uh -huh. per, per se because cammy cammy because i remember back back when you gave me that flow chart to, to work on with cammy and that helped like tremendously and i'm like okay cool let me try to apply this and i'm just like bison is a lot more to it than that so i don't know i gotta figure it out Hmm. Okay, but I hear you. All right. So your that 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 type of like intensity that you played with that like uh, decisiveness of when mm. you're down on health is how you should play up front. It doesn't mean you become like a gorilla and do dumb shit, right? It just means yeah. you make decisions faster. So if you're gonna commit to a certain style of play, you commit to it, right? If you're gonna yeah. if you're gonna make a decision, if you're gonna counter this thing, if you're gonna check this thing, if you're gonna jump, like you just do it with swiftness. You know what I'm saying? Because because um you did it and I hate it when other people do it when like I pause off of a hit and then i go for a hit and then i get counter hit mm -hmm. like you literally i forgot i think I, I think i hit you and then it was like a slight pause and you just went for like a crouching medium punch and a deer into like dry rush right because that's the game I, I don't like doing it either but it's, it's the game like it just it is what it is you know like if i feel like you're gonna o not overextend but you're just not gonna be tight with the with the mm. pressure or the sequence and i just i just slip in the the counter boom that's it you know what i'm saying so okay you just have to kind of get rid of the bias you have against that you know and then just be okay with like being wrong you know like th okay. that's basically what you're doing when you're down on life when you make those comebacks because you're okay mm -hmm. with being wrong 
because you have no choice you're like i'm losing so you're fe you're motivated by fear right <laughs> yeah so your, your motivation of fear from losing is what causes you to to overcome the fear of indecisive indecisiveness you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So you're motivated by fear. So you have to just constantly like negotiate with yourself through leveraging whatever fears you have at the moment. Mm -hmm. Right? Humans are naturally yeah. negative, so it makes sense, right? The pres preservation of life. I yeah, pres right? that's exactly I always, what it is. I always, go, I always go back to this point. I just like the preservation of life. I think that's just like the overall problem I have. It's not a, well, it's not a problem. You just don't know how to manage it, right? It's like, if I, it's like for example, if somebody's super stubborn, Right? It's not really a problem. You just don't know how to manage it because you can turn it into a, a crazy strength. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one, of the, that's one of Mena's biggest strengths, in my opinion, is he's, his willingness to stick to what he knows works. Okay. You know? So now I want to watch you play. All right. Okay. So we got like another 40 minutes. So, so you can oh, share, share your screen. All right. Let's see. Okay. Oh, nice. That was really good. Try to jab it. Mangles. Sorry. Yeah, you definitely trolled. I was level two. <laughs> you could have level one. I would have killed. No punish? I tried. Your, your mind is racing. That's why you got to slow it down, brother. I like the bait on the low drive gauge. That was pretty good. Okay, when you get him low on drive gauge, you have to commit. Don't be afraid. Like, the reward of you putting him in burnout is so strong compared to whatever he has to do to get out. I can't jab. Okay, you're playing her game a little too much. You gotta play your game. I'm trolling. You're okay. super trolling. Okay, nice. Um, so a couple things. You're getting punish counters on your jab, and you're not converting into your strongs. Um, when you are pushing yourself away. You're doing this delay timing and she's dive kicking. So you don't, you either commit to something or don't do anything at all. Okay. Because if you're delaying, you're, you're playing into the reaction timing of the opponent and then they're going to do the dive kick and then you're going to press on the dive kick and they're going to whiff punish you. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like, look, you see how you did it there? That She almost jumped, but your medium kick got hit. So, and then of course it actually worked the next time because she didn't hesitate. My man is trying to highlight Merlin, though. Yeah, he definitely is. He's trying to do an and one mixtape on you. Oh, that man is dead if you do this the right way. Nice. Jump. I called it. You called it? You gotta believe, bro. <laughs> You're trying to cover every option. Just commit to one option. 
to commit. Commit. You gotta commit. I. Dear. Okay. Okay, I'm flustered. <sighs> gotta breathe, brother. Gotta breathe. Gotta breathe. You're not. You're not playing bad. You just gotta. You gotta believe. It's okay. You gotta choose how you lose, right? Fail gloriously. You just go. Can I not? You can cross fierce it. Because she can't grab you. Or you can delay jab, cross jab, that's also. Am I dead? Yeah, you're dead. Dead as fuck. Oh my goodness, you're not dead. Okay, let's see the comeback. <gasps> nice. I figured, because it was like he did it off of a uh, perfect berry. Damn. See what I tell you? Come back, kid. That's what you are. Change my name. You gotta, yeah, right. <laughs> Bro, you stop trolling when you're about to lose. Cause I feel like it's like all cards on the table, and I'm like, all right, cool. I have this one. This, yeah, I see what you're saying. You no. see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how you gotta be. You gotta play like that from the start, though. Oh, uh, this is one decision, and I'm just like, all right, cool. We gotta just like live and die by it. Right. That's... You know what might be good for you is to train with no HUD, so that way you could practice playing the same all the way. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right, that might that might actually be really good for you because now you don't you can't you have the pressure on you from the start that you don't know what the fuck is happening in the background. Oh, good conversion. Ooh, brother. Oh, that sucks, but it's okay. Whatever. Oh, you forgot to turn off the super meters. Oh. But it's okay. He's dead. He's dead. He gotta be dead. Yeah. Okay. Why is this so oh, you actually kill people when you don't see the drive gauge, bro. Good shit. Congrats. You stop trolling. What are you doing? You press the buttons and not believing again? No. I tried to be reversal. No, I'm saying on the punish when you got the jab strong. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I, I respect it. I respect it. I'm burned out. I respect it. Nice. Oh yeah, that's the meaty setup you showed me. Oh, that was about to be a sick conversion. Don't be afraid of anti-air, bro. Cross fears. Yeah, you, just, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Punish. Yep. Yeah. He should definitely be in super uh, KO range. Oh, you're not doing nothing. Or... Yeah. Nice. Why Good do job. I see everything you know? Because you're not distracted. You have no, you literally have no choice but to believe whatever you're uh, seeing right now. That's why I like playing like this. You guys have no like choice but to pay attention to the person like Oh nice. Trolled. Oh, okay, let's try to me. Definitely trolled. Oh. 
You're not dead. Oh yes, my am. goodness, you dead as fuck. Ooh. Okay. Nice. I keep forgetting you could do that. I forget that you could only do it like off of a The jungle a state, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't. Oh, nah, it should be worth punishing a crouch strong, bro. It's two frames faster than low forward. And it doesn't scale. What the? Oh, I fail. You're dead, yeah. Okay. You gotta use more parries, bro. Where's your parries at? Fair. He's not doing what I'm thinking. I think he's gonna, like. Why are you thinking? Okay. Fair. <laughs> okay. That was a dumb jump. Yeah, that was a pretty bad jump, but it's okay. Okay, now you know what he's trying to do. Oh, this man is getting fucking absolutely obliterated. Ah, okay. uh, you fucking bet it. <laughs> you bet it? I did. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead as fuck. Am I dead? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Bruh. Why did you bet that? <laughs> I'm like, are you sleeping, baby? Yeah, I'm sorry. Dead. I don't condone trolling, guys. That's fine. Oh, he's not dead, is he? I got a Ah, oh, you're close. You're close. You're close. Ah. Uh, oh, he trolled. Oh, here comes comeback season. Yeah, here you go. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, bro, you guys are just. This is fucking Christmas in the hood. Why do you guys keep <laughs> gifting each other losses like this? Oh. Nice. Why did you jump? You knew you knew it was a bad jump, but you still did it. <laughs> you knew and you still fucking did it, Brandon. What's wrong with you? Oh wow, so you're doing back to back bad decisions? I respect it. You're gonna just fuck it, die on your sword, right? Yep. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't okay, condone I this. I don't uh, condone this. You were playing immaculately, and then I don't know what just what happened the last like yeah, match the, and a half. It's the ring mentality. Where I'm just like, bro, let me just like, I don't care. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just see if we sleep it or not, bro. I don't know. So oh. yeah, so you you lost to DIs when you had advantage, jump bad jumps. You didn't really need to jump them. You're already beating him without relying on jumps. There was no reason to jump. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's just a. He wasn't he when he was beating you it wasn't because of fireball that that's how you guys got to think about jumping right like if somebody's beating you and it involves fireball then sure jump but if if a person's beating you without using fireball or like fireball's not a reason why they're beating you it doesn't make sense will, for you to I risk it the, the thing that i was looking for was that he wasn't doing was um ex fireball into drive rush because mm. that's a that's a common thing yeah because you, you keep trying to drive over so yeah but see you gotta Again, the point of this exercise is, right? It's not just, hey, I'm not distracted. It's, yo, whatever information you see, you believe it immediately. Like, he didn't do it. He did EX Fireball and didn't drive rush like two, three times. And you still would try to drive a rush it. So at that point, you just gotta be like, all right, this is not like... I know this is weird, but it's not a part of this DJ's DNA to do this. You know what I'm saying? All right, next. Let's, let's go, let's go. He jumped once. Reversal makeup. 
No. I'm not dealing with it. Second time. It, drive chip. It should be pretty close. I like it. Okay, so now you know when you put that pressure on him with the pokes, he starts to jump, right? So you can start charging. Yes. again yeah there you go good shit that was sick that was a good conversion too nice so you should have the drive advantage Oh, you he definitely have the driver time. advantage now. Come again? He sees he's afraid to jump now. <laughs> nice. Nice wolf punish. Okay, he kind of trolled. He could have definitely did EX scissors into Psycho. I knew he was dead, though. No, 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 no. Don't give me that. I knew he was dead. <laughs> I was walking away. Nah, shit. don't. Oh, nah, God. don't give me that. I know he was dead. You should have went for bomb because he has less than two bars and then you would have got a guaranteed di damn that was that was oppressive as fuck you know what's the best part is that you actually had a life lead and you played like that congratulations you look like a new man. Yeah, he's let me do whatever I want. Well, I mean, you you earned it, bro. The fucking dudes. He's having like fucking seizures over here. He doesn't look at how, what you're doing. He's like two throws away. Oh, okay. I was about to say, maybe he's like two throws away. 
so yeah, re remember characters that don't have a super. You gotta put the bomb on them, then go for the DI, bro. Oh, okay. That was an amazing punish, my friend. <laughs> I, I fumbled. I wasn't like ready for that. Oh, stand heavy kick. <laughs> Brother. I jumped. And I'm lagging. Is that five medals? Uh, I think she has four. four five. Is it five? Four or five. You trying to find out? <laughs> nope. <laughs> wow, that corner carry is ridiculous. Parry? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, okay. That was optimal. I like that. That was good. You're paying attention. If you do that the right way, she can't do that, by the way. So that means you must no. have messed up the um beauty timer. She running your pockets. Oh my goodness. Brother. Yo, I'm you're, you're dead. No? Dead. Please. Oh, you lucky motherfucker. <laughs> Bruh. Joe? Nice. I gotta start using that more. Brother. Trolled. You should be punished with stand um heavy kick anyways, bro. Ow. Scared. No. I'll take it. That was standard. Uh, ah, ah. Yeah, you're dead. Congratulations. Was, See you next round. That was stand heavy kick. I, I promise you. Yeah, I don't believe anything you say. I don't believe, you, you saw I don't hit. believe it. You saw counter hit though. That's Miss May We. Damn. Oh, she robbed you 11 MR. Ugh. That's what you get. Not punished in the right way. Oh what? Yo, what are you jumping at her for, bro? She don't got a fireball. Oof. That's two. Oof. Three. Brother. Remember, you could DI or per uh, perfect parry. Like that. That's a punish. Ah. Oh. She's going to go for it again, 100%. 100% she's going for it again. Okay. Oof. Oh, that was good. Damn. I laid the shit out of it. You know, you have really good anti-airs, but the, the thing is, is you commit to buttons so often that yeah. you're in the recovery phase a lot. Brother. Dead. Make sure after the session you take a good break though. Don't don't keep playing. You gotta let okay. that shit marinate. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Nice. That was good. Brother. <laughs> uh, you gotta remember, Ryu hits hard. What? Bro? Son. Nice. You pick ball. Just walking back on your wake up. On his wake up. Nice. Okay. Burn us, run us. What's up with this? Brother? Wait, what the fuck? How did that anti her? I don't know. He keeps walking back against you. You gotta snipe that, my friend. What's she doing? You just aimlessly trying to pressure him? Oh my oh. goodness, if you had blocked, he was about to get cooked. What the? Hey, you're dead. So... Okay. You know, um, what, with something that will make you a lot better too is, uh, when you have bomb on them and you know the time is about to explode, like mm -hmm. visually confirming that they're doing something and just don't press anything. Yeah, I started doing that recently. You gotta do it more because you, you, you keep getting hit do. in those moments by things like if you just react and be like, oh, I blocked this. He's fucking cooked. Oh, that was crazy. I'll take it. Yeah, it's not bad. That's a good DP to take. Oh my god. Yeah, you see, he's shimmying you a lot, so don't be afraid of backdash. Just to reset the spacing. Yeah, you were chipped. There's nothing you're doing. Yo, I really gotta take into consideration, like, not getting... Okay. What's up with this brown start sweep though? He's hitting you. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh. Yikes. Oof. Oh my god, that bro, he just stowed on you, bro. Oh my god. Oh, he oh, he's fucked though. He's in burnout. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, let me do, we'll do one more. That's one funny. More. It's probably mental fatigue at this point. I don't think you should be playing for more than like 40 minutes, in, in my opinion. See, but this is the thing, right? Street Fighter Five. I can understand that because I was just, I would just be salty. Like I play this game, I, I'm not really salty. Yeah, but I'm just saying for the sake of mental fatigue, because you're constantly thinking. It's not like the old other games, because there's counterplay in every interaction in this game, right? Compared to the previous iterations. Mm -hmm. So you're running through a lot more mental resources trying to play this game in a shorter span of time than you did in other games. So okay. the mental fatigue is super real. And the thing is, it's different for everybody. So you might not notice what it is because you haven't really paid attention to it. Oh, that was really good. Is this the same one? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You press? Oh my god. Oh, nice. That was the, the coolest stun. 
combo I've ever seen. How much damage did that oh. do? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nice. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, don't spend it. That was smart. Oh my goodness, he gave it to you again. He's dead. Bruh. Is this the same by uh Geef from earlier? As I'm asking, I like show is Let this me see, is it? Oh I think it is him. Can't SPD. I backed. Nice. Yeah, this is him, definitely. Really? Nah, just ignore it. I don't know. Get a good bomb. Mm hmm. What is his sweep on block? I'm pretty it's like sure. Like minus 11, like 13, 15. If it's like 13, then you could definitely do. Yeah, it's minus 13, so you could light scissor kick punish that. Oh, really? Yeah. Do it again. Do it. Yeah, nice. Well, that's pretty good. I gotta start doing that. I usually do back heavy kick, but. That's even better because that's only like a two frame gap. I knew it. Nice. I'm trolling. Good shit. Good shit. What a way to end it. That was good. Uh, and you didn't even see the super and you knew it. I just felt it like out of nowhere. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, okay. <laughs> see, that, that's it's. I'm telling you, this is a great way to train, bro. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to this for a while. Yeah, and you can do it like even if uh you don't care for rank, but people that are watching like if you care about your MR and shit, you can just do it in like lounges, do it in battle hub, casual matches. As long as I'm not under like like in the fifteen hundreds, I don't care. Word. <laughs> That's just me. But uh but I wanna see your point. I'm gonna start doing this. Yeah, so how'd you feel? Um going into it, I felt like a bum. Now I feel a little bit more better. <laughs> Uh, I'm serious. How? Uh, How do you feel like that doesn't even make sense? <laughs> no, because again, it, it, it like, right, so since I've been doing it, doing from the second session to this one, it's just been like a constant drought on performance. Mm. It's like, yo, what do I work, what, what do I work on? What do I focus on? Mm. And, you know, the fact that you're telling me that, and again, it's, it, it, it's kind of off the premise of Street Fighter V, where it's just like, you want to react, uh, you want to act and then react. Right, that um, makes sense. You know, and versus like, you know, just sitting there and you just get mauled because like, yeah, the, the other person will see it and then just like run their own thing and, and you try to process. So that's probably what was happening to a lot of it. Mm. So between that and this, I can see like, okay, cool. And, and then you actually telling me that I'm better when like I'm about to die. Which is weird, which is kind of weird. It is weird, but I mean, it makes sense when you when you contextualize it, right? Mm -hmm. So I will say, like, anytime you feel like you're in that, um, you're in the valley point, right? You know, there's there's hills and valleys, right? When you're in that drought, one of the things that'll alleviate a lot of like uh, intrinsic pressure is to realize, like, if you were to put you today against you like a month ago mm. how badly would you fuck him up i would demolish myself like, you see what i'm saying so like you gotta you gotta kind of frame shit like that it's like yeah you might not be the player you want to be yet but you gotta think like you gotta look back that's one of my favorite ways of looking back is like yo how bad true. would i fuck myself up if i were to play myself from the past true and then you know i saying? look at my progression from with me last play versus today and i felt like i did a little bit better a lot better actually a lot better 100 percent, a lot better it was just like, again, like I said, it was just like miscalculations on my part at mm -hmm. that point. 
So right. yeah, I do see improvement. Yeah, it's just now you gotta maintain the intensity all around. It's like a, like a salad, right? Like, you, you can't have like the... What the fuck do they call those like croissant fucking pieces? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, the croutons. The croutons, right? Yeah, like you can't have those like on just one side of the salad. That shit's not gonna... <laughs> that shit doesn't make sense, right? You gotta like mix it. Right, so that's what uh -huh. you're doing. Like with your intensity and your focus is like it's not mixed well. It's only like when there's pressure on you that you started to focus. So you have to mm -hmm. mix it around the entirety of the duration of uh, the entire duration of the match, right? From the start mm -hmm. to the end. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think of it like that. It's like if you play a character, it's like are you using all of the tools? You don't necessarily have to, right? But um, if you're able to introduce all of it, it makes it a lot harder for your opponent to know what your intentions are. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have to really, really like keep perspective because if you don't, if the second you lose perspective, you start oh. to project and then you possibly are getting like frustrated from expectations that are not realistic or not fair to yourself. And I oh. tell you guys all the time, right? Like what are the two things that are like the best defense mechanism um, for suffering, right? It's self-awareness and self-compassion, right? So awareness is like a... You can't always rely on self-awareness because sometimes you're going to be exhausted. Sometimes you're going to just be fatigued, right? Um, mm -hmm. Or distracted. So then the next thing, the next safety net is self-compassion is to realize like, yo, I'm a human. Like there are ups and downs, sunny days, cloudy days, rain, mm -hmm. you know, like, so you have to realize like the one constant is you and the one constant you can always be in control of is, is your perspective of things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't really control if you play your best, how you feel, you have to just like be able to adjust to that on the fly every single day that you play. You know, it happens. A day at a time. Like One I said, I was, telling time. My friend, I was telling my, my friend, because he was asking me and I was just like, yo, I'm just trying to, like you always say, I'm trying to increase my, increase my floor. Right. Yeah, and your floor you know? is a lot higher right, right now, right? And this yeah. is one of the ways of doing that is like that type of a no HUD training. Mm -hmm. well, sorry, Brandon, give me your three favorite things and then we can conclude. Uh, three favorite things. It is better, like I said, your feedback and showing me that I did get better. Um, second one is I'm starting to understand the. Uh, I feel like I'm more aware of what's going on in the field. Mm -hmm. And the last one was the no huts, no no huts challenge. Nice. All right, perfect, bro. Hand. Well. Congrats, bro. You've completed the course. Good job. Thank That's you. three of them things. Banged them out. You survived. You, you are a completely different player on the other end of this. So, thank you, thank you. You know, just keep it up, bro. Ham, I'm here. Let me know whenever you want the next one. I'm around. I will. All right, brother, Almost man. Definitely. Keep it up. Keep it up. Make sure you join the lobbies, too. Keep joining the lobbies whenever yes. you're around. I know you're working, but. You, yeah, well, I, be wanted, I, I wanted to do it this past weekend, but. Mm -hmm. I was in the middle of moving like stuff and whatnot, so I couldn't oh, do it. Okay. I, was, I was so tight. But yeah, when I do see it, I will I will join. Yeah. Alright, bro. Alright, homie. Alright, man. Alright, homie. Appreciate you. Later. Peace.